B Makers the Squad, what's good? It's Cheese the Producer. Today I'm here with the first tutorial, and today we're going to cover how you can take files from your computer and save them to your iOS device, and how you can take files on your iOS device and save them to your computer. So this would be perfect, for example, if you bounced out a beat, and now you're like, oh man, I got this beat bouncing, I want to send it out. Well, this is how you can do it. Um, there are three methods and I have them presented in my order of preference. Okay, the first one is file transfer protocol, second is Dropbox, and the third is iTunes sharing. So let's get into this and please do remember that Beatmaker is the squad. All right, so let's open up Beatmaker 2. Inside of Beatmaker, let's just start a new project. Uh, select the drum machine and an MP preset. We really don't need anything right now. Let's hit that computer and phone icon. Now hit File Transfer. Now you'll see that you're given the IP, the port, the login, and the password. I use FileZilla. The IP goes where the host is asked for. The login is with goes to where the user name what the username is asked for uh the password will just simply go to where the password is asked for and the port number will just go to where the port number is asked for now once you've uh entered all that information click the quick connect button on the screen now on the left side of your screen is your computer and on the right side of your screen is your iPad, particularly your Beatmaker 2 folder. Now, what I've done is I've selected a sample that I want um, from my computer. And now I'm just simply navigating into the folder where I want to place that sample. And it's not just samples that you can um, that you can transfer. You can also transfer entire folders. Okay, now. Right here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right-click and hit Upload. And you'll see at the bottom, the progress screen is going. And you'll see that on the right-hand side, that sample is now in my Beatmaker 2 folder. Just that easy, just that quick. Now I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm going to choose a, fold, a file from this folder, and I'm going to save it in that same folder uh, on my computer that I took the original sample from. And once again, just that easy, just that quick, and it's done. All right, so now we're going to look at the Dropbox method. So hit that same icon that you had before, and now just press Dropbox. Now I'm already logged in, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to log out to show you just how easy it is to connect your Dropbox with your Beatmaker 2. So hit Login, and when this screen comes up, and once it's finished loading, it's going to ask you for your login information. I've entered mine, so I'm just going to hit Sign In and Link. Okay, now once it's loaded up, you'll see at the top how much space I've used, and then on the left hand side, you'll see your Dropbox files. Now, I'm just going to choose this folder here, Distorted Drum Breaks, and I'm going to choose a file inside of that folder. I'm just going to choose this first file, Acid Music uh, Drum Break, um, and now I'm going to hit this arrow that's pointing left. Now it's going to copy that one file over. You'll see it right there at the top. Now, if you want to, you can actually copy the entire folder over. So we're going to go out of this folder, and then we're going to go back into the distorted drum breaks folder. Not going to select any files. We're just going to hit that left arrow. Now, as I hit that left arrow, it's dragging all the files over into the my content folder and you can have this go into whichever folder you'd like and now you'll see that the distorted drum breaks is in that my content folder now let's see let's say i want to get rid of that original file that i had up there because like i don't need it now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select that file and now i'm just going to hit the minus key that's at the top and it will delete it and I hit confirm and it deletes it. You can do this with your files from uh, Dropbox, but you still have to go in Dropbox and um, delete the files permanently. Also, if you want to save some of your files onto your Dropbox folder, 
uh, you just choose a file the same way I did and just hit the arrow key that goes to the right. Now let's look at the iTunes share. Open up iTunes and select your iOS device by clicking this icon here. Now, navigate to where it says apps on the left hand side of the screen. Your apps will load up. Now scroll to the bottom of the screen, or near the bottom actually, um, to where you see your apps are loaded. When you see Beatmaker 2, you want to select it. Inside of there, you'll see it says store, it'll say user as well. Now scroll down to the bottom of this screen. You'll notice it says add, and save to is blanked out. We'll get to that in a second. Now when you click add, it'll take you to a folder on your computer, find a file. Now I'm going to choose this one here, victorybnmix.aif, and I'm going to add that. Now when I scroll back up, you'll notice that the Victory BN Mix is now my Beatmaker 2 documents. So now I'm going to open up Beatmaker, and we're going to save this file into my Beatmaker 2 folder. So let's open up Beatmaker, uh, new project, drum machine, uh, empty preset. Now let's go back to the computer and phone icon and select it. And this time let's select iTunes sharing. Now we're going to hit import here, but if I would have hit select directory, I could literally have selected the folder where I wanted the file saved to. Now I'm going to hit the go in the drum machine, hit the wave icon, and I'm going to sample load, and I'm going to go into my content, and at the bottom there it is, victorybnmix.aif. Now this method also allows you to save files that are on your Beatmaker 2 folder to your computer as well. So let's go back to the computer. Go back to your uh, iTunes, I mean your iPad or iOS device, select apps. Okay, now let's scroll to the bottom once again, select Beatmaker 2, and Inside Beatmaker 2 documents, you'll see the different folders. Let's scroll down to the bottom. You'll see Add. You can click that, but Save 2, you can't click that just yet. So let's scroll right back up to the top. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this data folder because it's just 656 uh, kilobytes, and it'll be easy for me to demonstrate with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Data, and I'm going to click Save 2. Now, you see it's, it's giving me my desktop. I'm going to say, well, actually, no, I'm going to create a new folder. Um, I'm going to call this folder um, iTunes Share from Beatmaker 2. And create. And now I'm going to click Save 2. Now it's already saved it because, like I said, it was only a few kilobytes. And there that folder is right there at the top. And I'm going to double click. And inside you'll see my Beatmaker 2 data. So let's say I wanted to save my entire Beatmaker 2 folder. I could do that just simply by using the method that I just showed you. Beatmakers and Squad, what's good? I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Um, if it was, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. If you found that like there was something missing or something that you thought could be th done better, instead of hitting that thumbs down button, do me a favor. Uh, leave a comment in the, in the comment section below and say, hey, geez, man, I wish you would have did this or I wish you would have did that. And I'll definitely take your comments into consideration. Uh, also, please follow on Instagram at Beatmaker is the squad. If you have any tutorial uh, suggestions or requests, please definitely leave a comment below or send a direct message to Beatmaker is the squad on Instagram. Um, either way, I'm going to get to them. Just give me a little bit of time to put the tutorials together as I'm kind of like usually ripping and running never really home too much anyway um i hope this was helpful for y'all and do remember that beat maker is the squad the world is your studio peace